Horseshoe. <laughs> 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 In Argentina, I would say soup de. Uh -huh. oh. Soup de. <laughs> mm. Soup? Like... Soup de. Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm from the United States. Hi, my name is Anna and I'm from Brazil. Hi, my name is Lucia and I'm from Argentina. Hello, my name is Antonio and I'm from Venezuela. Hello, my name is Damaris. I'm from Peru. Uh, in the United States, we usually speak English. In Brazil, we speak Portuguese. We speak Spanish. We speak the best Spanish in Venezuela. <laughs> I need to disagree. Peru has the best Spanish. I think it would be pretty different, especially the, the words that we use to name different things. Yeah, mine is gonna be. Yeah, right. yours is gonna, yours is gonna be completely <laughs> different. Yeah, it's just another language. Yeah. yeah. Different. I think you are in the middle of us, so you will understand mm. more my words and her words, but we. Have I think like, we might understand each other better. Yeah. yeah. So in the United States, we would say cat. In Brazil, we would say gato. In Argentina, we would say gato. In Venezuela, we would say gato. In Peru, we say gato. It's very similar. Yeah, it's yeah. too easy. And that one, I think, is just slight accent difference, but the yeah. word is the same. We will understand each other. Yeah, for sure. Gato. 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 So the Portuguese in Brazil is gato. It's like tanto. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? Like the inflection yeah. is slightly different. Mm -hmm. And then as it goes across, the T gets harder with each one. So like, gato, gato. Like, you know what I mean? Like, not quite that hard, but like, you see what I'm saying. It's really, really small difference. So in the United States, we would say red. In Brazil, we would say vermelho. 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 Sounds like a sauce name. In Argentina, we would say rojo. We also say rojo. In Peru, we say rojo. That yeah. sounds like purple in Portuguese, which is roxo. Oh, oh, really? Like yeah. horseshoe? Roxo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely Portuguese is the weird one. I think we can all agree with <laughs> that one. Yeah. The word equivalent in English would say like vermilion, but I think that's maybe like an obscure shade of red. Mm -hmm. But verme vermelho? vermelho, vermelho, is Portuguese, and like I feel like my tongue is doing backflips. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to speak take a look here, like red, pink, pink, green, green. Yeah, <laughs> that's Portuguese. But from the Spanish, I've always learned rojo, so yeah, I can agree with you guys. Yeah. In America, in English, we would say winter. In Brazil, we would say inverno. Mm. In Argentina, we would say invierno. In Venezuela, we say invierno. In Peru, we say invierno. I think what, what the slight difference is that in Portuguese, we don't have the I. You don't have the I, we say inverno. Inverno. I did notice one small difference, though, between you two in the middle. You had a harder V sound, and uh, his was B. Uh, B. Yeah, invierno. like Venezuela, we invierno. don't say invierno. V, we say B. That was slight difference. Inverno. Invierno. 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 In English, we would say socks. In Portuguese, we would say meia. In Argentina, we would say medias. In Venezuela, we would say medias. In Peru, we would say medias. Where's the D coming from? <laughs> <laughs> For me, it pretty much sounded the same. The only difference is the one letter, once mm. again. So yeah. with like, um, invierno, like the one word had, or the same word had one letter difference. Same thing for socks, but the other three were relatively the same. Yeah. They have Maybe a D. Yes. Portuguese, we just say meias. So no yes. consonant there. No D. In English, we would say bread. In Portuguese, we would say pão. In Argentina, we would say pan. In Venezuela, we would say pan. In Peru, we would say pan. The word pão in Portuguese is one of the hardest for foreigners to pronounce. Mm. Can you say it again? Pão. Bone. 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 It's like. Mm. It's like back yeah. here. Bone. 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 Sounds like bone. But yeah. the sound is coming from here, like. Mm. Bone. It's back here, but like bone. more on the top. Can you say that again? Bone. 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 <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> So in English, we would say chocolate. In Portuguese, we would say chocolate. In Argentina, we would say chocolate. In Venezuela, we would say chocolate. In Peru, we would say chocolate. Again, I'm a different one. <laughs> I think the biggest difference, even with you, is that mm. we don't say cho at the beginning, we say sho. Mm. Mm. Chocolate. And the T then, it's like chi sí. sound. Mm. Chocolate. 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 I think for this one, like in general, the, the last three, their accent is the same, but chocolate, 
chocolate. It's really I like different. Brazil accent, actually. Yeah, the Portuguese Brazilian. <laughs> but I do still think I could understand. Like if she pointed at something and said, oh, chocolate, like I could be like, oh, that's chocolate. Like it makes sense, mm. so. In the US, we would typically say subway or metro. In Portuguese, we would say metro. In Argentina, I would say subte. Oh. Uh -huh. Subte. It's subte. <laughs> In Venezuela, we say metro. In Peru, we say metro or metropolitana. Mm, I don't know that word, actually. In my city, we don't have subways. Mm. So I had to think about it, like, what, oh, what really? word do we use? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I don't have a subway. In Argentina, my... you don't I have mean, a subway? I mean, if you go to Buenos Aires, you do. Oh, OK, OK. But, it, but it's outside, right? Yeah, but I'm from Rosario, and uh -huh. there we don't have a subway system. So I had to think about it, but I'm pretty sure we would say subte. I, don't, I never heard anybody say metro. Mm. In Venezuela, we only use metro. We don't use metropoli or subte. <laughs> Those are foreigner words for me. Mm. I think for this one, yours is most surprising. I was like, mm. soup? 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 Like, soup like, sounds like a subway. <laughs> it sounds yeah. like a soup. Yeah. So yeah, a that one was, I was expecting the Portuguese to be different, but I was not expecting <laughs> hers to be different. <laughs> In America, we would say computer. In Portuguese, we say computador. In Argentina, we say computadora. Okay, in Venezuela, we have two words. We say computadora or ordenador. In Peru, we say computadora or ordenador. Si. What about if it was like a laptop? Would you guys say laptop? Notopi. Not Lapitopi. That's so cute! <laughs> we would just say notebook. La no notebook. Oh, notebook, okay. We say both, just... laptop or notebook. Yeah, Lapitopi or notebook. Notebook. <laughs> it sounds like they sound like fake it's, words. It's the, you know it's the English word with a Brazilian flair. Yeah. Yeah, Portuguese is. It's adorable. La computadora, el ordenador. La computadora, el ordenador. El ordenador. O el ordenador. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of R's. Very nice. Very good. It was really good. <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. I thought, I mean, I guess the words are kind of similar yeah. to Spanish, yeah. but it was really fun. Like, yeah. some of them were like new for you. Subte. Yeah. <laughs> I never heard yeah. subte in my life. Really? Yeah, me too. First time. I think the Spanish is pretty same, but you have two words different than us, maybe. Mm. Uh, subte and. And what was the other one? Notebook. Ah, no. uh, notebook? Metropolitano. You two have Sute. two yeah. different words. I think that's what's really cool about it though, is because I think it's English, Spanish, and Chinese are the most spoken languages in the world. Yes. But Spanish in particular, you can really tell about someone's like culture and like specifically where they're from mm. based on those tiny differences. Right. Like because now if somebody says soup day, I'm gonna know exactly where they're from. Yes. <laughs> but other Spanish speakers Chinese. might have no idea. So yeah. I think it's really interesting how you yeah. know those little differences can make you different, but everyone still speaks Spanish. It's still a Spanish yeah. world. We, we understand each other. Yeah. So today we talked about word differences. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Or leave a comment. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.